Okay. Hello. We're here. Ah, okay. Wow, you look great. You look great. You look good. Oh, look at that. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two days. Two That don't give a fuck. We're just out here, like doing whatever. You really try. videos this is honestly probably my most frequent videos i should make like a playlist of all the where the fucks have i been like where have i been videos I should just do a playlist for all this so if you are new to my channel welcome 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 you can see the journey with that new playlist which will probably be up by the time that this video gets up I'll make that a priority. For all the new people, hello, 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 hi, it's me, it's Kaylin. For all the old people, what is good? Thank you for still being here. I know if you're an OG OG fan, you know that whenever I go periods of time without being on YouTube, it's 9 out of 10 for a good reason. This is no different. So all the things, welcome, subscribe, like button because that means you get my notifications because YouTube still doesn't think that because you're subscribed to me, you actually want to see my videos. Okay, so the first thing is that you guys know that I live in Los Angeles. Just kidding, kinda. Ah, I'm actually in Dallas right now. I've been in Dallas since February. So it has been a minute, which is also a, a good reason why I have not been on here. I am back at home right now. I'm actually in, this was not my original room. I actually had to redo an entire storage room because my room was just not big enough to film and with the camera equipment that I use right now as you can see I'm very far away from the camera and I still only have this much of a frame so yeah with no space I can't really film granted I could have used my phone I just don't really like the look that it gives with my phone it's not a bad look and like people who use their phones to do videos have more followers or subscribers or whatever and they do videos all the time it's great go for it it just wasn't my thing it wasn't what I wanted to do so I chose to opt out but this video is less about my all the shit that has been going on in my life because all of those things are just they're gonna happen it's life life doesn't apparently get any easier so just gonna go with it go with the punches in the past six months, I kind of felt lost in a sense. More so annoyed at like all of the things that happened. Like I'm back in Dallas, I'm back home. I didn't want to necessarily be at home. Not that I was here by force, but I was kind of here just not necessarily out of my own will. Um, it wasn't my force. I could have stayed in Los Angeles and I am going back to Los Angeles. But that's why it's just like, okay, whatever. I go back in Los Angeles in like three weeks, so it's fine. But in this past few months, I've been kind of feeling lost and like, what the fuck am I doing? Like, okay, well now my plans for Los Angeles have obviously changed because I'm not there. What am I gonna do here? All of the things. And more so because I felt like there was a set way to do it. And at the time, like I, I kind of felt really annoyed. But in this time, I have been able to reflect and 
kind of understand something more and more so a theme that has like been like recurring every single time I'm on Instagram and it, even though it sounds cheesy but trusting my process not the process because the, there is no such thing as the process that is like sets like a standard of okay it's gonna look like this and that's not it I have to learn to trust my process you have to learn to trust your process and that is why I am here because I feel like though I don't have a huge platform I do have people who watch it who engage and there's somebody who may be looking at my channel who may be in a similar predicament or a predicament that I was in long ago and I always feel like I should be able to share that knowledge and use my platform to inspire and also just kind of tell you things that I've learned. The moral of the story is to trust your process. Trust and understand that whatever you're going through right now, that if you have a plan, keep sticking with that plan, but things change and that is okay. Like things will change and I'm a Christian so therefore I believe that God places things in your life and God makes things happen for a reason and there are things that you have to learn because in each time that I've tried to go the way I think it should go and it goes another way, I do learn something in the process that I probably would have never learned had I tried to go through it my way. It sucks and in the process I know it is shitty because I did not expect to be homeless six months ago. Six? No, no. About nine, nine months ago, I didn't expect to be homeless. I, was, I had no idea that I would be homeless. I had known that if it came to that, like I was okay with it, but I didn't plan on being homeless. and. I was, I was homeless, and if you know me personally, you know I was, I've was. i always been the furthest thing from homeless. So being in that situation taught me something. Coming back home has taught me something. Um, and going back to Los Angeles is gonna teach me something else, and I have to be okay with that, and it may not necessarily look the exact way that I think it should go. However, oftentimes I do look back at my year goals or my three month goals or my month goals or whatever and I see that a lot of the things that I wanted to happen have happened and the things that didn't happen usually for, were for a reason. And even if I didn't meet that goal then, I, I've somehow circled back and met that goal now. So yeah, it's okay. Everything happens for a reason. And that's kind of the moral of this story. Um, I guess a long story short for those who do want to know where the fuck have I been. <laughs> um, I was in Los Angeles in January and I kind of had a choice whether or not to come home and I weighed the pros and the cons for the time being and I only wanted to be here for minimum of six like I only wanted to be here for as little as possible my max was a year and I'm not even gonna stay here for a year but my plan was always to go back by October um I mean it's June, June now and I'm going back in July so hey another go met <laughs> but yeah, I had always, I planned on coming back soon. And so coming back here did give me a little breather and time to reflect and just one of those nudges where it's just like, Kaylin, like, doesn't look the way that you thought it was gonna look, but it's okay. And you're still going towards that goal. And yeah. When I first moved to LA, I felt that I had like a great plan ahead of me. Like I knew everything that was supposed to happen. I was like, okay, cool. I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. And it seemed like every time I tried to do my plan, like everything kind of went to shit. And it was not anywhere near what I thought it was going to look like. And, and though it didn't necessarily happen the way I wanted it to happen, I needed to reevaluate some things in my life and reevaluate like what I actually wanted and what I, you know, I knew what I came there for and I know what I, I am going there for. Just understanding like things about myself as a person and as an individual and what I specifically want that to look like because I've always been a very big thinker, but sometimes the details get lost in translation. <laughs> So sometimes I have to reevaluate that, okay, cool, if you want this, it's gonna look like this. Or it may not look like this, and it might look like this. And are you okay with sacrificing this in order to get this? All of the things that it kind of hit me head on, and I wasn't necessarily expecting all of that. And it, I just needed a little break. And so when I left, I did get that little break. I got to be around old friends. I got to be around family. I got to see my old city even though it wasn't necessarily that far removed but i got to see what my life could look like here and versus what my life looks like in los angeles and again i'm going back for a reason but i overall needed to see that it's okay for things to shift and that you just got to keep going in when i moved back even though it didn't look like what i wanted it to look like i was like okay cool well that didn't work what's the next plan what's the next plan what's the next plan and that has taught me to just keep going and in Los Angeles, I think that was the thing that I needed to learn was that in Los Angeles, it will not look 
like how you think it's supposed to look, especially the life of an actor. It will never ever look the exact way that you thought it was supposed to look, but you gotta understand that, especially if you're a Christian. If you're not a Christian, completely fine. No judgment, not here to, to throw God on you or anything like that. But in my religion, everything works out for your good. I have to understand that my goals will be achieved and the dreams and the visions that God has given me will come to fruition and they will manifest but the journey is going to be an interesting one and I have to be okay with that and mama never is no bitch so I'll we'll tough it out yeah but overall I just want to let you guys know to just keep going keep doing what you wanted to do and strive for your goals meet your goals and get her done <laughs> for lack of better words but yeah um, okay, that's really it for this video. It wasn't a whole bunch that I had to give to you. But, hey, I'm back. And there are other videos being filmed after this. So, keep an eye out. Yeah. Alright. Now, I need you to tap right here. That's one of the, Either video. Whichever video you want to click on, you click on it. I do need you to wait a bit before you click on the video. It's just... If you did do the subscribe thing, do that. I am judging you, however, it's no time like the present. So get her done. Tap that and the bell, tap them. Tap them. All right, all right. Okay, proceed to the video.